Hey there, Anika here from Anika's DIY Life and today I'm showing you how to make this gorgeous wood burn mandala tray in one day. I am partnering with my friends at Burnsomatic to bring you this quick and fun project. I used a basswood plank and gave it a light sanding. I actually debated between building my own tray and using a plank and ultimately went with this plank because I was really digging the look of the bark on the sides. After wiping off all the dust with a tack rod, I placed a stencil in the middle and used a heat sensitive marker to trace the patterns. I have a link to all the material I used in the description below. The heat sensitive marker leaves a very light pinkish orange mark so it can be a little hard to see but as long as I kept track and worked in the pattern, I was able to cover the whole thing. I also stencil the pattern on the corners of the tray. Now comes the fun part. I used my Burnsomatic heat shrink torch and propane to torch the plank. Now even though I knew exactly what to expect, watching that pattern appear was just so cool. Then I flip the plank over and torch the back as well. I also torched a couple of 6 inch pieces of 1x2s which I attached to the back with a few finished nails. Now to protect the top surface, I mixed up some tabletop epoxy and coated it. I poured the epoxy on the edges first to kind of create a border for the epoxy to flow into. Once the epoxy covered the entire surface, I used the Burnsomatic Detail Torch with butane to pop any bubbles in that epoxy. My epoxy called for curing for 8 hours, so the next morning it was ready. I had originally planned to add a few handles, but on second thought, I think it looks awesome just as is. Here is a more detailed look at the tray. As always, this project is just to give you an idea of the possibilities and I hope you will try your hand at wood burning using torches too. I also used wood burning to make an ombre house number sign, so be sure to check that out. Also, you might like this project. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out any future projects.